Welcome to Perfect Garden and I'll tell you the difference between island and continent. Is Australia a continent or an island? Why is Greenland considered an island despite being larger in size than Australia? These are questions that are hard to explain until an individual is aware of the meaning of the terms island and continent. Most people, however, are quick to tell that there are seven continents. Some say it is six as they combine North and South America and refer to as American continent in the world. There are hundreds of thousands of islands all over the world. Some islands are larger than many countries of the world, though most islands are tiny and lie inside the continents. This video take a closer look at the terms island and continent to come up with a difference between them. The images that comes to our mind when we talk or hear the world island is that of a tiny mass of plants surrounded by water on all its sides. On the other hand, continents are described as large land masses that are continuous and separated by water bodies. One of the easiest ways to differentiate continent from an island is its much larger size. However, this method fails when one finds that Australia that fulfills all the requirements of an island is called continent. Now at first I will talk about continent. What is continent? Now there are seven continents in the world, namely Europe, Asia, North and South America, Africa and Australia. Antarctica is the seventh continent of the world. Though there are some who count it as six as they combine North and South America and refer to as American continent. Asia is the largest while Australia is the smallest continent. Continent are large land masses that are separated by large bo water bodies and contain many countries within them with well defined political borders. However, there is no water body separating Europe and Asia. There is no definition of the boundary separating Europe and Asia. S some writers call it Eurasia because of this reason. Geologically speaking, it should be one single continent. The boundaries between countries have been decided by convention rather than any scientific criteria. Apart from being large land masses, there are some more characteristics of the continents. These large pieces of land also have a stable continental crust that is different from the crust of other continents. Every continent also has unique flora and fauna. In addition to unique and distinct cultures of human populations, it is seen that people belonging to a particular continent have belief in their minds about the continent's status. Now what is island? Island is described as a subcontinental landmass that is surrounded by water on all its sides. The landmass is rather small and is protruding above water. However. This definition does not mention the size beyond which an island becomes a continent. Sometimes, there are many small islands grouped together. Such an arrangement is labelled as an archipelago. Some islands are also referred to as keys or inlets. One should not think of the island as a floating mass of land over the water body. Now going by the definition of an island, Australia is an island, but it is labelled as a continent. Greenland is one island that is mammoth and much bigger than most countries of the world having an area of more than 2.1 million square kilometer. Now what is the difference between island and continent? There are seven continents of the world, but well, there are thousands of islands all over the world. Continents in general are much bigger in size than island and contain many countries within them with well-defined political borders though there is no size defined beyond which an island classifies to be called a continent. Australia the smallest continent is basically an island. Greenland is a very large island that is bigger than many countries of the world. Every continent has a unique culture and flora and fauna. Thank you. So please subscribe to my channel Perfect Guardian and give your comments.